<laughs> Say what I want like I'm Taylor My back kind of white like Taylor Sweet Taylor! Yeah. We're back at El Judge Rags Today we're getting into MB Nell with a interview now I've read to a few of MB Nell's musics And uh, you know in the conversation uh, Y'all be roasting me for saying that I don't know who this man is But guess what there's mad rappers out there I'm not gonna know who everybody is But I'm definitely interested in learning more about him Because at this point I probably read to a couple of his songs So it's time to get deeper into it It's what we do at the L Jazz React stage You know I react to the artist's music that I've never heard of before Because most times I'm not I listen to it when I listen to um, So now I'll, I'll, but I'm very much willing to find new artists Stuff like that So then I, deep, I, I dive deeper into like their freestyles Or musics whatever And then I go ahead and then I watch the interviews I can learn a little bit more about them So that's what we're here to do today with MB Nell, and we're gonna dive deeper in what's going on here. Okay, if I don't like him as an interviewee, then you know, or if I don't like the questions in general, you know, because we, we gotta get the rating out of here at the LJS React stage, things gotta get rated and critiqued because we gotta keep it a stack, right? So if the damn interview is butt cheeks, my boy, you get a damn mouth in a bottle, but if it's fire though, and you know, he's answering good and it's an entertaining video, I'm gonna let that thing bust. You ain't even see that. That's a new move. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I over the shoulder, no look that one. Imagine somebody passed them one. I, I, white chocolate in the hood. That's what they call me when I, when I got that thing on me. Bang, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even see I was leaning too. Like, I, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Defying gravity there. Let's get into it. Shout out Dizzler. This is MB Nail. I'm sitting here with Dizzler.com. My boy got them gold grilling in my boy. Shit, I was just fucking around with it. Uh, me and my niggas started rapping. Nah, I ain't gonna cap, boy. This man hairline is immaculate. Like, what barber you went to? <laughs> like, the Beijing is working for you, but even the fade is doing nice. Definitely a $100 haircut. And, like, fucking, like, sophomore year. And it got locked up, and I stopped that shit, and I just started got getting back into it this year. And I didn't even expect it to blow up like this, and shit just took off from there. Love my gang. Is that like his popular song? Oh, I'm crying. How did your hit song? Okay, that makes sense. Just fucking, because my boy, Khan, shout out to Khan, he made that beat for me. And uh, I was just on the road, fucking humming shit. And I just came up with that shit and wrapped it in my, my room and recorded it. And it, that's how it just came out to be. Mainstream, I, I listen to like Meek Mill and Lil Wayne, Rick Roll. I used to listen to Ella Livewire, Filthy Rich, Lil Rue, Jay Stalin, Jacka. Um. 90% of these people, hold on, run it back. Lil Wayne. Okay, Wheezy. Rick Raw, I used to listen to Live Livewire, Filthy Rich, Lil Rue, Jay Stalin, Jacka. Just big cats, really. She's talking, it's a small little city in the valley. Uh, a lot of, uh, Crime rate, murder rate, I think it was like number seven in uh, the U.S. Uh, for most violent city in the whole U.S. And you can see, I, I could like see the pain just in like, just him saying that just like from his experiences. The fact that he's even having to say that that's in the top 10 of violent cities in America. And that's apparently where he's from. Like, damn, I could just see he doesn't even want to really say that. <laughs> uh, Crime rate, murder rate, I think it was like number seven in the uh, U.S. Uh, for most violent city in the whole U.S. And it's just poverty and shit like that. Not, and like terms of entertainment, there's not really much to do out there. So, you know, everybody's trying to make their own way to really just get out. Stockton. Thought the only Stockton I knew was John. I wish they would have had an actual interviewer asking the questions. Like, why don't a lot of these interviewers get in the videos? Like, that's why I don't really understand. Like, it's a lot of these interviewers and, like, people with platforms, they'd rather be behind the camera. They don't even want their voice to be heard. Like, damn, son, I don't, make, I don't, I don't get it. I don't go with you. Uh, yeah, like I said, Stockton is just full of poverty and violence and crime. It, it's just, I just rap what I see, and 
what I see every day and what everybody else sees and just everyday shit, like, you know what I mean? Shit, I was just, how I came out, I was just sitting there and I started writing shit. And that's just really how I came up. I recorded it the same night. And I was just, you feel me, just feeling some shit, you know? My son was off a perk 30, so he looked around, he said, yeah, I was off the, you know what I'm saying? hit <laughs> so the angel does, boy. And I was just, you feel me, just feeling some shit, you know? The, mm -hmm. And I just laid it down, dropped it the next day, and I was like, I'm gonna shoot a video to this, got to. And it, that's how it came to be. <laughs> Uh, right now, I'm trying to work on a, a little project, um, but other than that, it's really just I just write, I just write, I just write a song, lay it down, and I just try to drop it as soon as I can. So, so yeah, I'm just trying to write some shit, lay it down, and uh, hold on to it so I can put it together a little project like an EP or mixtape or something. He literally just said he was working on a project. Hold on to it so I can put it together a little project, like an EP or mixtape or something. Making an ass while you working on a project? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work on one. I just, you know, it's still in the process right now. I had a name, but I might change it up. It, it was it was Epoch, which means uh, like a story of my life or something like that. But I might change it to something else. I don't know, because I had a whole, like, different mindset to it, you know what I mean? So, like, and since I dropped Love My Gang, it's like, the way I do music now is just entirely different than my mindset back then when I was thinking of dropping that mixtape, so, yeah, I'm just starting fresh now, basically. <laughs> Where'd you get that fresh haircut? Nah, I did miss that in the beginning of the video, I'm crying. DB cuts at uh, some soft dealing. Shout out him. It, he, he cut me, my uh, cousin. He took like two hours, but I thought I was gonna be late. But he barbed me though. So shout out to him. DB cuts. Nah, homie did his thing, boy. Just, just keep on doing what you're doing. Don't let nobody uh, disencourage you. Just, like, just keep doing what you're doing. And, just fall. Discourage, not disencourage. I'm sorry, I'd, I'd say that. Like, just keep doing what you're doing and just follow your dreams because anything can happen, like, unexpectedly. So, if you, if you think if you think this is what you want to do, then just do it. That was MB Now on the Thizzler platform answer some questions now I, i'm not gonna lose you like i didn't really like the fact that you know no interviewer no voice just questions on the screen cool with a song nice i also feel like it was a lot of like surface level questions i didn't really learn too much about mb Nell really like except for the fact that he's from stockton one of the most violent places in, in america but it definitely wasn't too deep of a, of a dive i, I feel like I, I left learning not too much about mb Nell, you know like, I didn't really, I didn't, I still know very little about this man other than he's from a very violent place, which honestly, I could have assumed. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a stack. Could have assumed that my damn self, feel me? Now, at least I know where he got them cuts from. You know, that cut is crispy, though. I ain't going to hold you. You did a thing. Whoever barked, whoever's lined him up, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Them, no cap, for real. But yeah, other than that, that was pretty service up. I didn't learn much. I, I'm not going to hold you, feel me? So. Yeah, they might want to go back to the drawing board and how they, uh, you know, approach things like that. I ain't gonna lie to you, but um, yeah, I prefer having an interviewer. I think the interviewer should want to the want a platform as well. Like as an interviewer, like you know, what I'm saying it shouldn't just always be about the artist. Um, so I, 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 at least hearing an interviewer voice would be nice. You feel me? And um, you know, if I feel like a person like MBNL, you gotta really ask him deeper questions. Like if you give him surface level questions, he's gonna give you surface level answers, and it's not gonna probably. Uh, allow him to 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 emerge to where we're actually learning about him. You feel me? 
But um, yeah, you know what? That's just my two cents here. That was just reaction stage. And uh, outside of my two cents, I gotta get my my um my two bangs. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't talking about um Chitty Bang Bang. I'm talking about this mount to the bottle. You get two of them joints. I ain't like the video. I'm not gonna say I ain't like the video, but it was but it definitely could have been a better interview. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Could have been a better video. Um, to keep it on it. But ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the L Jazz Reacts YouTube channel. Make sure you turn on the post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the Taylor L Jazz Vlogs channel for more daily uh, vlogs, hotel reviews, travel vlogs, things of that nature. Make sure you also go to Taylor L Jazz on Instagram for more funny satirical content. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L Jazz and you're watching L Jazz Reacts. It's the big reaper and I'm back for the killing. When I get on the track, say what I'm actually feeling. I'm a murder baby, you my next victim, maybe. Don't